Whether a legally commissioned statue of a noted community leader in a town square or a slapdash stencil spray painted guerrilla style in the dark of midnight on a storefront, art frequently engages with audiences outside of galleries and museums. This art, meant for access by the world at large in public spaces, serves as a democratic way for an artist to express to the masses. Public art thus becomes artwork for the populace, instigating through visuals, actions, ideas, and interventions, a participatory audience where none prior existed. While the public display of art objects is not a solely modern phenomenon, recent innovations in public art forms indicate critical redefinitions of concepts like community, collective identity, and social engagement. Public art is art in any media whose form, function and meaning are created for the general public through a public process. It is a specific art genre with its own professional and critical discourse. Public art is visually and physically accessible to the public. It is installed in public space in both outdoor and indoor settings. Public art seeks to embody public or universal concepts rather than commercial, partisan, or personal concepts or interests. Notably, public art is also the direct or indirect product of a public process of creation, procurement, and or maintenance. Public art is often characterized by community involvement and collaboration. Public artists and organizations often work in conjunction with architects, fabricators, construction workers, community residents and leaders, designers, funding organizations, and others. Public art is often created and provided with informal art in public places, programs that can include community arts education and art performance. Common characteristics of public art are public accessibility, public realm placement, community involvement, public process, including public funding. These works can be permanent or temporary. Some public art is planned and designed for stability and permanence. Its placement in, or exposure to, the physical public realm requires both safe and durable materials. Public artworks are designed to withstand the elements, sun, wind, water, as well as human activity. In the United States, unlike gallery, studio, or museum artworks, which can be transferred or sold, public art is legally protected by the Visual Artists' Rights Act of 1990, VARA, which requires an official deaccession process for sale or removal. Which countries does this law cover? This is a matter of debate. The following forms of public art identify to what extent public art may be physically integrated with the immediate context or environment. These forms, which can overlap, employ different types of public art that suit a particular form of environment integration. Stand alone, for example, sculptures, statues, structures. Integrated, into facades, pavements, or landscapes, for example, bus reliefs, hill figure, geoglyph, petroglyph, mosaics, digital lighting, applied to a surface, for example, murals, building-mounted sculptures, installation, where artwork and site are mutually embedded, for example, transit station art, ephemeral or non-permanent performances, temporary installations, for example, a precarious rock balance or an instance of colored smoke, memorials for individuals, groups of people or events are sometimes represented through public art, Examples are Maya Lin's Vietnam War Memorial in Washington, D.C., Tim Tate's AIDS Monument in New Orleans, and Ken Stange's Cenotaph for the Abom Victims in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park in Japan. We will continue this in the following video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.